The Osho State Governorship Election 2022 is just a few hours away, and we are at the data center of Kim Park Development Initiative. It's called Election Data Room. It's a group that has been doing a lot in monitoring the whole process leading to this exercise, and they've come up with some very interesting data. Starting from here, we can see, of course, we know that the state has 30 local government areas with about 3,763 polling units. Down here, you can see PVC, that's permanent voter card, collected 1,479,595 out of a total of 1.9 million five five six five seven registered voters. Of course, that will increase as more uh, data come in, comes in from uh, the Independent National Electoral Commission. The uh, uh, group has done quite a lot in breaking down uh, the number of registered voters across the 30 local government areas in this state, as we see here with the polling units and the registration areas all broken down by uh, KDI in this place. And if we move further, gender disaggregation of registered voters, this is the way it is, 52.76% for female, white folks, it is 47.24% for male. Age disaggregation of registered voters, youth 18 to 34 within the uh, uh, age of 18 to 34 bracket, 39.7%, middle-aged 35 to 49, that's 32.5%, meaning that people within 18 to 34 are still uh, the highest when it comes to people that are expected to vote in this uh, election. Elderly, 50 to 69, 19.2%, while old, that's from 70 and above, constitutes 8.51%. Percent. Moving further here, analysis of the final list of governorship candidates. We have 15 of them, political parties, A Accord Party, AAC, APP, APC, BP, and the rest of them. You can see all the candidates that are contesting in this election are all males, except for a few, there are three females who are contesting as running mates to some of uh, these candidates. The group has equally come down with this distribution of invalid votes per local government areas. The group has realized that there has been some kind of decrease in the number of potential voters across all stages of the electoral process. And this is the breakdown here. For this election, the group has equally been able to narrow down on the issues that it thinks will encourage the electorate to participate actively in the governorship election. That's voter turnout. Secured election environment, 24%. Closeness of polling unit to voters' residence, 18%. Introduction of e-voting, 13%. Financial gain, that's money, which we all know as a vote buying, 13%. Candidate with superior manifesto, just 9%. Food and material supplies, 9% or so. Popularity of candidates, 8%. Just to fulfill civic duty, 5%. Age of candidate, 2%. Percent. The group has been able to project this way. They say our prediction that the voter turnout for the election that we're expecting in the next few hours, they're projecting that the lowest will either be 38 percent and the highest will be 48 percent. So it's been capped. The group has equally been able to uh, come up with a map of hotspot in Oshun State. That's where there could be likely violence during this election and it has come with this you can see the red mark green and yellow so where you have the red it means there is every likelihood of um, uh, violence occurring during the election where you have yellow it means somewhat likely and where you have green it means very unlikely so if you look at this now you can determine you can determine for yourself where you know you may likely have some kind of a uh, uh, Untoward uh, developments during this this exercise. Pre-election violence cases tracked and documented as of July 12th. In the last five months, according to uh, the group, 63 cases have been tracked. 20 of those 63 cases 
are related to electoral violence. So from the 63 cases track, 39 deaths were recorded. 39 deaths were recorded. 18 of the deaths were call, called clashes related. Five electoral related deaths. 16 non-electoral deaths were recorded in those uh, uh, in the uh, in, in that in that period that this group has been able to uh, come up with this uh, particular data. And resulting from what we just showed you over there, down here, predominant electoral violence in Oshun State from historical perspective, political assassination and killings, political thuggery, gunmen attacks, sporadic gunshot destruction of campaign materials, arson, and all that. And as we try to round up a tour of this data center, we give you the list of governors in Oshun State since 1999. And of course, you have Chief Adebisi Akonde, Prince Olagoso Yoyula, Rauf Aregbeshola, Adegbo Igwai, Tolaus, the incumbent, and contesting in this exercise. So who will fill this slot? That's the question to which we'll be looking for an answer in the next few hours and days as we go into this election proper. Tokumbo, Oye Tunji, Arise News, Oshobo.